This is Diana Sullivan in Austin, Texas. I've been making some hats for little children, and here's one in Bernat coordinates sized for a toddler. I'm going to show how to make this hat for a baby. What I did was I short row shaped it, I knit it sideways, and the shaping allowed me to have all of these stripes come to a point up here at the crown of the hat. So, to begin, you want to cast on 40 stitches from needle number 20 left to 20 right and set the machine up on tension 8. You need a small amount, far less than a skein of Bernat coordinates, which is a sport weight baby yarn. Um, some years ago I always thought sport weight was was too thick for babies, but that seems to be what they are selling now. Um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and thread the machine and knit one row from the right to the left. Now this, this little hat project is very instructive for helping you to master short rowing. And to begin the short row sections, let's set the, t the row counter down to zero, zero, one, because I've done one row. And you're going to want to keep track of how many sections you have done. Set the machine so that it will hold that is from N to H, that's a slide on the machine, and bring three needles at the far right into hold position. Then knit back from left to right. It knits everything but the last three. They're just sticking out and the yarn's over it. You need to wrap. Bring the yarn under the first of the three needles and over the other two. Lift up a little as you approach and knit back slowly. You do not want to go too fast with this and you're going to repeat the business of bringing three needles into hold and knitting left to right, again wrapping and knitting back just slowly. Always put your finger under the needles and pull the stitches down as you pull the needles out into hold position. That help, helps to keep the stitches from unraveling. And you're going to repeat this several times. This is the shaping for the crown of the hat. When I get to needle number three right, I have the shaping done. I'm just going to knit back slowly, as always, and to finish this first section of hat, I'm going to knit from left to right, knitting all the needles. I can either switch the machine from hold to normal knitting, or I can bring the stitches back a little way with a needle pusher. When I go from left to right, it will knit them all. So now all of the stitches are knitted, and I've created one triangle for the hat. And you can see that it's straight from here to here, and then it comes in, this last part. And that completes a triangle. It took 14 rows. That means that 10 sections of triangles will take 140 rows. So I'm going to knit to the left, and I'm going to repeat the procedure. Now it's important, as you work with short rowing, that you keep bringing some weights up. And in fact, for this little project, I like to use three claw weights. Two is just not quite enough. And I'm going to set my machine for short rowing. Go left to right and wrap and knit back. And I'm going to do this whole routine again for 14 more rows. So when I finish the second triangle, I will be on row number 28. Now I'm going to do the 10 triangles off camera and come back when I have the whole little hat shaped and the circle of the hat knitted. When I get to row 139, I've done 10 sections except for the final row. 
So I set the machine to knit all stitches and I knit slowly from left to right. That finishes the circle of the knitting. I want to cut the yarn leaving a long enough tail to kitchener stitch the beginning to the end. I'm going to unthread the machine and take the little project off on seven or eight rows of waist yarn. And then I will show you what we have at this point. Upon my removing the comb and the weights and the clothespins, you can see that I have knitted a semicircle and it'll fold over to make the little baby hat. It's going to be Kitchener stitched here but before I do that I'm going to put an edge all along the long edge. 